JDs and Lentlemen, welcome back to the yearly edition of How the Hell is LeBron James Still Doing This? I didn't think it was gonna happen this year because you would think year 21, it's gotta start slowing down eventually, which is what we've been saying for literally the last decade minimum, it feels like. 26 points, eight rebounds, six and a half assists. All right, he does that in his sleep. That's not the biggest wow factor here. He is shooting. 58% from the field. Do you know when the last time LeBron James shot 58% from the field was? Never. He's never done it. Not during his first in Cleveland, not in Miami, never. He's at 39.7% from three, which would be the second highest mark of his career, but on way more attempts than when he hit 40% in Miami. So how, how is he doing it? That's the question we all have. One, he's a superhuman, we've all known that. Two, he probably made a deal with the basketball gods. Three, he has a better team around him than what he's had in the last couple of years with the whole Russell Westbrook era and how that was really the worst fit anyone could possibly imagine for a LeBron James led team. But LeBron actually pointed out that one of the biggest reasons why he's playing so well is that he's fully healthy. The last couple of years he's been dealing with a lot of stuff and so and to his credit it hasn't affected his counting numbers but his efficiency has taken a dip and we don't really notice that dip so much because he sets such a high bar that even a dip for him is still like career best numbers for anyone else. But he talked about how the time that he used to be spending you know rehabbing an injury and getting his body right can now be spent on working on the court. I just, it's been said so many times, but I'm gonna say it again. It really is crazy how, how when Anthony Davis first got to LA in the summer of 2019, there was this idea that eventually he was gonna take the torch from LeBron James, right? That they were gonna sort of swap roles where Anthony Davis would become the lead guy, LeBron would take more of a backseat, become more of a facilitator. And the fact that this is year five with this duo and that's still not the case, that this is still so very much LeBron's team, and it goes as they go. Just go look up the plus minus numbers, the on-offs. It's laughably hilarious how much they still rely on LeBron James. And look, there's obviously gonna be questions for a guy who's gonna be 39 in December, year 21, as far as can he last the entire season and can he last for an extended playoff run? But like, I don't know, why should I doubt him? What reason has he given us to doubt him? Like even last year against Denver, even though they got swept, even though he's playing on a torn foot, he still put up insane numbers. Like I just, I don't think he's ever gonna fall off. I think he's just gonna eventually decide like, I don't wanna do this anymore. Like what other, what are the, what other conclusion can we come to now that he's played over two decades in the NBA? It's just an unfathomable accomplishment that just keeps adding more layers to it. And I love watching it because it's so amazing. <laughs>